Mikey Stage 3. Uh, so this Thursday is World Book Day. So we're going to dedicate some of the lessons this week to some World Book Day activities. So you should already have done the quiz, which I set on Monday. So for your lessons for the rest of this week, you're going to be working through looking at uh, a range of ideas. So uh, you've got uh, a link there on the page for your book token. We do have a load of these in school as well in the library that you can collect next week when you're in. Uh, and you should be able to then exchange those for books. So here are the books that are on the list this year. They're ones that have been written uh, especially for World Book Day uh, and some very, very famous ones there. And it should cover all age ranges and reading abilities as well. Um, you can get these from any book bookshop sorry, or usually uh, Tesco's do it as well. So you can just take those t tokens in Tesco and exchange that for a free book. OK, so um, why is reading matter? Why is this important? Why do we put so much pressure on you in school to read? Well, what we've got here on the board is three different examples of child A, B and C. You can see that child C reads for one minute every day, which adds up to just 180 minutes per year and 8,000 words. Now, if you up that one minute to five minutes for child B, he's reading for 900 minutes in the school year and he's covering 282,000 words as well. OK, that's your average student who reads for that much and makes that much progress. Child A is so somebody who really pushes themselves. They read every day for 20 minutes, which adds up to 3,600 minutes per year. And that gives a massive 1,800,000 words that child is reading per year. And that gives you exposure to all kinds of ideas, to new vocabulary, to new worlds, to new sentence structures. There's all sorts Lots of different things there. So it really is important that you read as often as you possibly can. Um, so there are uh, many reasons why it's a good idea to read for at least 10 minutes a day. And you've got some of those on the board, but there's also a hyperlink there at the top to click on. And that will take you to some information um, where you can look at some of the reasons why reading is so important. And there's a few of those on the board as well. So, uh, again, there's another link there at the top as well for reasons why it's important to read. So click on that link, have a read, uh, and then that's great. So I'm going to show you now lots of different types of book recommendations for all age groups. So these are stories that you can read anywhere. Um, lots of popular writers included here. So you've got, for example, Roald Dahl there at the bottom. Catherine Rundle as well, I've heard of. So you've got some really famous writers there. Okay, so this is a video that you can listen to. Um, so I'm going to also attach the PowerPoint to show my homework so you can then use all these interactive sections rather than try and play it for you on here where the audio you'll get will be second hand. Uh, so this is uh, PG Bell reading an extract from his book, The Train to Impossible Places. OK, if you're uh, somebody who doesn't really love reading, then these are the kind of ideas and books that would be a good idea for you. And all of these pages with book recommendations, they start with years 9 to 12 and then they go to 12 plus. But don't forget, lots of students are not reading at their chronological reading age. So many of you will fit into that 12 to sorry, 9 to 12 category um, based on your reading age that you get from your star test. So don't be put off because you're older than that. Actually, it's about your actual reading age rather than your real age. Okay, so. I recommend the book Holes by Lewis Thatcher because it builds suspense and has adventure throughout. Holes is about Stanley, whose family has a bad luck. A misconception happens when he is placed in a boys' juvenile detention centre, but this is no ordinary prison. They dig five feet deep, five feet across holes. Something doesn't seem right. Stanley must dig up the truth. This is a story of friendship with extraordinary plot twists along the way. This is a total mush read. OK, so now we're looking at scary books, spine chillers. And again, there are some really famous names here. You've got Charlie Higson. Uh, he's there and a very, very popular author with uh, boys in particular, but not just boys. Uh, above him, we've got Neil Gaiman, who's an amazing writer. Lots of his stories have been turned into films. Or series, he's got American Gods and Good Omens on Prime at the minute, which are based on books that he wrote. 
This is another author, Cressida Cowell, who writes the How to Train Your Dragon uh, series. Uh, she's reading from a book here. So again, find this PowerPoint, look into that and watch that video. Okay, so these are stories set back in time in different uh, eras to where we are now. So it's a, a very different thing to experience by going back in time like that. I enjoyed the first book in the Percy Jackson series. This is due to the action and adventure that happens in it, such as Percy becoming friends with Luke, then dueling him at Camp Half-Blood after he joins Kronos to help revive the dead Titan, and go into the underworld and fields of punishment to rescue two items of the gods. Zeus's Master Bolt, and Ares' War Helmet. I equally recommend the other books in the series and think they are extremely well written and continue the plot well. Okay, so these are science fiction stories, so set in a future time. Uh, again, you've got some really famous names here to look at. Mallory Blackman had one of her stories turned into a TV series this year. I can't remember what it was called, though, but it was very good. Um, you've got, uh, I'm fascinated by the title, Time Travelling with a Hamster. I can't imagine what that's about. Uh, at the bottom, you've got Patrick Ness's book, The Knife of Never Letting Go. I've just read that, and I'm now currently reading the sequel, and I thought that was really interesting. It's a big read, though, so, uh, you know, be prepared for that. But, yeah, you've got some very famous names here, and sci-fi is my favourite genre of reading. This book is called Midnight Alley. I recommend this book if you like a little adventure and some fun. There are loads of different characters you will meet on the way. My favourite parts of the book was when Claire meets Myron and taught him chemistry and became friends. And also when Monica tries to invite the losers in their school to university party, but Claire tells them not to. My least favourite part was when Claire has to leave Myron in the room by himself overnight in the school. Okay, funny books now on the board. Again, lots of famous names here. Louise Renison is, uh, she's been writing funny books for a very long time. Um, I know the name. Julian Clary, he's a comedian. Jeremy Strong, lots and lots of names here that, that are very familiar. Uh, Joe Cowley at the bottom, I met him when his first book came out. He came to the school I was working at then and uh, did a workshop with the kids. He was a lovely guy, really interesting. So again, lots and lots of good ideas here. This book is called The World's Worst Children, written by award-winning David Williams. This book tells 10 different stories for each of the horrid children, which are Dribble and Drew, Bertha the Blubberer, Nigel and Nip Boy, Sophia, Sofa, Windy Mindy and many more. They all tell a different story. If you're looking for a, for a hilarious book that makes you smile, I would 100% recommend this book. Okay, so more fact-based books now then. So you've got History of Magic at the bottom. You've got what it's like to be a teenager, you know, the importance of art, uh, football one, science one. There's all sorts of interesting things here. Um, I am Malala would be very interesting as well. Malala Yusuf is the girl who uh, was flown to Britain for expert brain surgery after the Taliban had shot her in the head for uh, insisting on going to school when they thought girls didn't deserve an education. Fascinating life, she said. Okay, so we're going to look at doing something booky. So on this link here, which again I will upload to show my homework, you've got a range of completely free audio books, okay, for you to read. Uh, and that's an amazing thing. So I want you, as part of your work this week, to write a one sentence summary of at least two of these and then send it to me as, you know, verification or proof that you've watched, listened to them. Uh, audio books are a really interesting thing to do. You can listen to them while you walk your dog while you're in the bath while you're on the bus all sorts of uh, you know good issues and they allow you to experience amazing stories even if reading is something that's difficult for you so you know if you're dyslexic and you find it hard to read for example an audiobook can be a good solution to that um, so yeah pick at least two of them and email me a one sentence summary of them Okay, so the World Book Day website has information about various different um, workshops and events that they're doing online. So you can see those there. You can find those on the World Book Day website, uh, which is dead easy to find. You just write World Book Day into Google and it will come up. Um, so it would be absolutely lovely if some of you could take part in some of those and tell me how you've got on. Okay. 
So there are two competitions for World Book Day. And again, I want this to be part of your work this week. So competition number one is do something booky. And you've got a whole range of tasks here. So each box is a different task and they add up in terms of points. So if you just do a, a fairly easy one, you'll get five points uh, or eight points. But if you do some others, you can get up to, I think the highest one there is 15. Like all sorts of different ideas. You can do a range of these and add up those points as well. So you would need to send evidence of what you've done into me and also into World Book Day um, so that you can have a go at that competition. Competition number two is uh, about a book hunt video. So video is on this slide here. The idea is that you watch it and you make a list of as many book covers as you saw and you email the titles of those to Miss Skirma at school and her email address is there. Okay, so that's absolutely interesting as well. There's also some links here for ways that you can find out more about World Book Day and about reading in general too. So there are plenty of activities to keep you busy for the whole of the week. Um, so yeah, that should all be fine. So that's from me and I will see you soon. Take care.